Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John's report is for the 5th of October. Well, we started off our morning uh, with the video report showing the white MBI over the magenta, which last time we saw that one from before, we were expecting lower. This one tended to be a bit more significantly lower as we moved back down towards those uh, lows at the, uh, well, in this case, it was right down at 42.60. And uh, the low for the day was 67, so very close to getting almost at it. Um, and obviously, there's still more to go because that white only continued to go above uh, orange, which again points to a zero percent move. But since we're already so close to the zero percent, that's not all that far. From a Nasdaq standpoint, you can see uh, we were already pointed out how much weaker it was already because the white never dipped back below. And sure enough, that broke down into new lows. Um, and that takes it ooh, all the way back to uh, late June levels. Um, obviously, uh, still quite a ways to go to get back towards the, the beginning of the breakout in June. Uh, you know, thousand points on the NASDAQ, but uh, with the readings as they are, nothing's changed. The Euro, just getting worse setups here. We just got notified here in Italy, 40% increase in uh, electric bills starting immediately, uh, which had already been going up almost double over the last year anyway. Uh, so the crisis for electricity in that is getting worse, and you can see it gap up of oil. Again, that push of oil is going to have impact worldwide, throw in the China setup, and a lot of headwinds. So, uh, inflationary uh, protection, people sliding into Bitcoin there. Um, some of what we had talked about from the uh, dips in Bitcoin from before were uh, projected margin call setups and how people would liquidate. But once that had been completed and finished, as we based on at the 4260, uh, left nowhere for you to go other than if you were selling to park your money somewhere. And that's why we saw this massive boost um, from Bitcoin on that short term level. Um, from a 50K standpoint, of course, it had taken the long ended that one midterm, started the short, and took that. That was at 43.17, covered it at uh, 42.79. Uh, if we look at the performance report, and some of this is um, based on some of the adjustments that I've been uh, making to a few of the inputs, simply uh, some of the adjusted values. You can see that the percentage number is getting up uh, to the 55, and that was just some modest modifications. What I'll do is adjust the inputs um, so that you can have those uh, directly onto your, um, when you get the program, and then that way you'll immediately see um, the same result. And that's what it looks like from an equity graph standpoint. So that's pretty spectacular when we look at it from uh, that broader context. So no complaints with that at all. Even if we look at it from a uh, periodic return standpoint, um, you can see that each month positive from that viewpoint. And uh, so it just started October. Uh, it begins with uh, that one as well. From an intraday standpoint, so we started off weak and made some serious attempts to try and get back, but every time we did, we had our white spikes MBI coming through, and then the continuation of the uh, yellow dots. We had a brief uh, little pickup there. And while those looked small, they were still significant moves. I mean, coming off the low, you can go from you know 78 to 92, you know, 10, 12 points is still reasonable. Uh, but every time we uh, reached back towards the peak and selling, and then we just kind of went sideways for pretty much the rest of the time and then there was just some volatility as people were closing out positions for the end of the day we rose right to the peaks of it and that puts us into after hours setup right now so the quick and the dirty is is that you can see from a um, 50k as well as from uh, the daily the 50k just showing the spike of magenta over but you already have the white spike over the 45 so it's just a matter of that magenta moving back below um they could trade across for a while and really push all the way back up before uh, that goes back down uh, likewise within the daily you can still have dramatic range within there uh, but ultimately the broader weakness is pretty much preset in there from a uh, 
broader standpoint, so it's just a matter of waiting for that to resolve itself in that direction. As always, though, I will keep uh, updating on the Skype chat and uh, send out updates as they're complete. Trade well. We'll talk to you later.